We've made great progress on Pascal. We restructured the sidebar into a more logical editing flow, added zones to delimit rooms. We reorganized the entire repository into packages, core, viewer, and our Next.js editor, which means we can now embed Pascal anywhere. We got our first open source contributor, thank you Frank Agados, and even better, we landed our first contract using the app, a school with Kant, then mapped with the editor, now the owner can request work on anything in their property, the way you'd order an Uber. Plenty of great news, except for one thing. I'm going to rewrite the entire editor. Before I tell you why, let's talk about something I never see discussed while it became my key philosophy for building anything. Horizontal versus vertical development. I learned this when I was writing music. The default when we create is to go deep into details way too early. That's vertical development. In music, it means you write 8 bars for your intro, you add effects, 12 layers of instruments, you make it perfect. But now, when you try to write the first verse, the intro is so polished that anything simpler feels empty. The gap is too huge, you're stuck. If you're not into music, think of a website. You spend hours adding animations and micro-interactions to your first panel, without validating the overall UI and UX. High chance all that efforts end up in the trash. Horizontal development is the opposite. Just make it exist first, you can make it good later. Draft the whole thing, get at the big picture, then polish layer by layer. It's way easier to break and rearrange things this way, compared to when one piece is perfect and everything else isn't ready for it. In music, it means writing the entire song with just piano, maybe three or four core instruments, before even thinking about effects. The founders of Pascal were already thinking this way. We moved fast, implemented essential features quickly, discovered what actually mattered by working on real use cases, not hypotheticals, and yes, the code got messy. The architecture has problems. The way we handle objects doesn't scale. We treated nodes as isolated components. Turns out they need to communicate and we need to control them from the outside. Too much lives in the Zustan store. You can prevent the re-renders, but it means extra code everywhere. But here is the thing, if we had spent 5 days up front trying to design the perfect architecture without knowing what we know now, we would have delivered nothing and still needed to rewrite it after reused cases broke our assumptions anyway. We drafted horizontally. We learned, now it's time to refine. If there's one thing to take from this, overthinking is natural, but it's not progress. Great development lives in the balance, enough planning to have direction, enough doing to discover what planning couldn't predict. In the next devlog, I will walk you through exactly what went wrong, the specific mistakes, the patterns that didn't hold up, and the new architecture we are building to fix them. If you've ever wondered when it's the right time to refactor versus keep shipping, that's the episode. See you there!